Uh, you know, the board meeting yesterday was was uh, in good spirit. It's fair to say that the resolution that we reached uh, was unanimous. Um, we have recorded uh, the wishes of, of the board. Um, it has the AFL support, which is important. Um, and you know, the board members that are that are leaving uh, are leaving on good terms. And I think, you know, the end result of all of this. Um, is a very, very positive position for the club. Uh, we've, got, we've got a good board. We've got this gentleman on my right who's now come onto the board, Lee Matthews, you know, who knows a lot about the club, a lot about football. Uh, so that's a great result for the board. Uh, and importantly, you know, the AFL is such an integral part of the success of a club. You know, we have a great relationship with the AFL. Uh, that relationship is, is more than financial. Uh, there are commitments from the AFL uh, to support the Brisbane Lions Football Club and I think that's critically important in the way this matter has been resolved. They're very happy with the resolution that the board has reached. There's been a bit of, bit of mudslinging though. Is there a bit of the Lions brand that need a bit of rebuilding now? Oh, look, I, th I, think, yeah, I think when these things happen, um, the differences tend to be a little bit exaggerated. So, you know, I think the, you know, the, the organisation has done a good job, I think, in communicating um, with the major stakeholders. But I think now that the board is unified, I think there is certainly some additional work that we can now do with confidence, explaining what has happened um, and saying that the board is, is totally united, has the support of the AFL. And uh, you know, there are a couple of little issues that are still to be resolved, which I think you guys are aware of. One is, one is the jumper issue. Um, and the other is that the, there is an anomaly within the, uh, the charter of the club in terms of life members. So we'll tidy that up with the AGM. Wayne Pelly was saying it was a once in a lifetime opportunity to get uh, someone like Lee Matthews involved with the club. How important is it to have someone like Lee Matthews involved with the board? Oh, well, I think the board, the board knows it's, it's very, very important. You know, Lee, Lee's someone who knows a lot about football. Um, I'm hoping Lee will enjoy the experience of being a, a director of a football club. Uh, because that is a slightly different role, but uh, you know when the opportunity comes to get Lee Matthews involved with the club again, uh, you just have to find a way to make that happen, and that's what the board has done. And you know I think you know people should appreciate the sacrifices that have been made by all parties to actually arrive at the outcome. It's you know it's very very important. Uh, you know the outgoing people, Angus Johnson, Linda Nash, Paul Williams, you know they've all made contributions to the football club over long periods of time. Uh, Angus in particular, as chairman, uh, has basically uh, put a lot of time and effort into building up the relationship with the AFL. And certainly I'm very pleased that I'm inheriting uh, you know, an organisation that is sound, uh, with the added skills of Lee coming onto the board, and as I said, with, with the support of the AFL, because you know, now more than ever, the Brisbane Lions Football Club deserves to have the AFL firmly behind them. They had some conditions, we've met those conditions, they wanted a unified board, they've got a unified board. Is it a relief that it's all it's done, Blake? Oh yeah, the pain of childbirth is always painful, <laughs> but then you got the baby, and then we've got the baby. And, uh, and I'm not making a comeback to playing, and I'm not making a comeback to coaching, let's get that clear. I'm a fairly much removed, but uh, I'll do what I can as the football person on the board to uh, um, to, to link up with the football department to uh, ultimately, I guess, the uh, the board appoint the coach. It's one strange anomaly in a footy club, but to, to uh, support the people in the footy department. But uh, ask all your questions today because you won't. I'm not a club spokesman, and that's not my role. So my role is very back room from uh, these next few days onwards. Lee, you were obviously keen for Paul to be part of your. What yes. Your well, the fact that Paul decided that really that it, everyone had to compromise um, in in that spirit of conciliation and compromise to get the best possible eventual outcome, Paul basically decided the last day or so that okay, he him going off the board was necessary for this compromise to actually happen. Um, uh, obviously, uh, Angus uh, Johnson, Linda Nash, uh, was part of that too. But if uh, you know Paul, uh, Paul really made his own decision on uh, what everyone did eventually on what was they thought was just what was necessary, what needed to be done 
uh, to give you a, a good starting point going forward. And the other senior role is to advise the board on the football operation. And assuming if Trevor comes to you and seeks advice, you wouldn't be bothered. Oh yeah, well that's part of your you know that's part of your role, I guess, just as a, to be a to be uh, and that and that would that would apply whether I was on the board or not on the board. Really, um, I got an enormous amount of uh, faith in in what Justin Lepich will be as a first time coach. I mean, what was critical in this whole process is the. Uh, the football department hasn't been affected by what's been going on in this sort of the boardroom battle, if you want to call it that. Uh, the new coach was appointed, Peter Swab was appointed as the, uh, what's his title? I always forget titles in the football department. I think of him as the old style footy manager, but I think he's got, he hasn't got that title. He'll be really important to help Dean Rowan, who's the football opera, the whole operations manager, in the, and Mitch Hahn, I think, is, is joining him. So th that's been going on full steam while this has been. Uh, this has been uh, this has been worked worked through. So I've got a lot of faith in those people, and if you put faith in people, then you uh, you assist them whichever way you can. What does your title encompass? What, what is what is your role? Just for members of fans, yeah. just so they get an idea. Well, I, that's a good question because I haven't got a job description. Where's my <laughs> job description? No, well, I mean basically, I mean I guess a board any board member's got an all-encompassing role, but specifically, I mean why am I on the board? Because I've got a football background. So my main background is to. Uh, um, to be the one, the link between the board and what's going on in around the football department, and and uh, that that necessitates uh, no match day role. I, you'll not see me near the Lions dressing room on match day. That's not my role. But I therefore have to uh, involve myself around the place during the week. So you kind of got some idea what's going on in and around the football department to provide that link. Uh, that's how I see it in a in a nutshell. But in fact the. The more specific nature of it, I guess, will uh, will evolve. Lee, we saw a lot of your ticket come out on Tuesday at that BND there. Yep. A lot of support. Do you think that did anything that made haste in this process a little bit? Because it seemed destined for an EGM, but then it all changed quite quickly. Oh, no one has to answer the question. I mean, it was a bit like you just have to react. You have to react to the situation as it's presented to you, um, and uh, and the situation changed. Uh, quite quickly in the, that 24 hours in terms of what happened next or what options were available um, to happen next. Well, I'm sure uh, one of the uh, most recent <coughs> priorities for you now would be to uh, work on securing funding for the development of Springfield. Would you be uh, speaking to Warren Trust? Uh, we will. I mean, we're obviously dealing with um, the, de the department. Um, you know, the... Um, the position is that the project is still being advocated for. Uh, obviously we've got a new government, so therefore there's going to be a new set of criteria. Um, but you know, in the discussions that I've had with government, uh, both with uh, the Sports Minister Peter Dutton, um, with the department as well, you know, the project they're seen as being a very worthy project, a pro project worthy of support. So you know, I, I'm very confident that we will be able to work with the new government, um, and be able to satisfy their criteria for supporting these sorts of projects. Are you concerned that uh, moving your, your admin training facilities out there uh, removes the club to a degree from its, uh, from its support in the city, or are you hope, hopeful that that will conversely grow the brand uh, further outside? Yeah, the latter. I mean, we, you know, it, it's not that far away. I mean, what, what we believe will be the opportunity is to have state-of-the-art training and admin facilities. Uh, it will save the club money, so commercially it's an attractive proposition. But the games will still be played at the Gabba, so, so you know, there will still be a connection with the, the local Gabba area, but the club is already being introduced to opportunities with additional stakeholders, greater supporter base, um, um, you know, which I think is all going to be critically important to the club. You know, I think you know, we, all, we, if we, we all have to accept that uh, you know, the Brisbane market is not a traditional AFL market. Uh, they don't get their fans automatically, they have to, they have to work hard. So um, you know, what, what we have to do is find a way to make the club financially independent of what happens on the football field. And the move to Springfield is certainly seen as a fairly significant way to do that. And you know, as much as it's um, a new thing for the Brisbane Lions Football Club. If you look at what the clubs are doing, and I've got in mind obviously the Fremantle 
football club. You know, they're, they're, they're all making similar decisions because ultimately they need to get access to additional members and they need to get access to uh, get their brand into these growth corridors. And that's the opportunity for the Brisbane Lions. Bob, how involved will you be as chairman in negotiations with governments and, and uh, you know, departments with your conflict, with your role at the Springfield Land Corp? Well, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll manage that, but, you know, I'm, I mean, the, the project is located in Springfield, but there's no financial benefit to Springfield Land Corporation in the project. So that, the, you know, the project will be owned by the Ipswich City Council. Uh, the Brisbane Lions Football Club will be the long-term tenant. Uh, you know, someone's going to build it. Uh, you know, so, so, you know, I think managing those issues is not difficult. Uh, the one thing I will say is that you know, I've, I've sort of raised that issue with the AFL uh, and they were very strongly of the view that that's not, from their point of view, something that they're concerned about at all. Well, are you concerned about what appears to be pretty high level leaks to the individual in Victoria, the, the member of emails and media and proxy for me? concerned about that and you be pursuing that investigation? Look, look, it's a good point. Uh, it's, it's fair to say that we did discuss that at the board meeting yesterday and uh, the CEO has got an investigation underway to establish what happened. Uh, I think it's fair to say we're not, we're not sure at this stage how that information was accessed. Well, you now been guaranteed the extra funding by the AFL, where it will be spent? Well, a lot of it's going to go towards the football department, which is, which is critical. So uh, there's almost $1.8 million, which has been pledged by the AFL as part of this arrangement. So I think it is important for, for the media to understand that you know, this arrangement has the strong blessing of the AFL and, and that will be translated into financial support uh, and other things in recognition of the fact that you know, the Lions have got some unique challenges and the AFL recognises the need to assist us with that. Mm, totally. I wouldn't be on the board if I thought I'm not going on a factionalised board. I'm going on the board because I figure at the moment there's five people of independent thought who will make you know their decisions on individuals on that uh, on that basis. And I'm sure that there will be another one or two people come onto the board in due course. I would have thought that what Bob will be working towards. So no, I've got the I've got no issues with with uh, with that. I mean, what what was what happened yesterday largely was just the finalisation of a lot of discussions that have been going on for a lot of weeks. But it got a position. It got to a position uh, where uh, where people, well, everybody, I guess, who was involved, and that included uh, Alan Smith and Ross Thornton, who had to be uh, prepared not to pursue their election at an EGM. They were prepared to say, yeah, for the stability of the board and all the considerations, we will, you know, we will just withdraw our our our, our right to force an, e, uh, an EGM to an election and obviously in Angus Johnson, Linda Nash and Paul Williams were, 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 the, were, the, were the, the needed to consent to what was the, I guess, the final, the final. there'd been a few propositions over the weeks, but that was the, uh, that was the one eventually that, uh, that everyone agreed to best interest go forward and everyone had to be prepared in that spirit of conciliation and compromise to try and reach an end position that was the you know, ultimately, what was going to be in the, the best interest of the football club going forward? Uh, Bob, the logo has obviously been a big deal with fans and lines. How quickly can it change? Could we see the lines start next season with the old Well, cer certainly we've surveyed you know, the members, and the members have, have said you know, that they're very keen to see a change. So that that's going to be uh, voted on at the AGM on the 18th of December. Um, you know, how quickly that happens, um, that's something we'll have to work through with the club. You know, there's obviously issues around sponsors and apparel and things like that, so we'll just have to work through those issues if that's the way the vote goes. Well, you, you made the analogy about childbirth, it was a long way, wasn't it? Uh, not when the world's been going for about 50 million years. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's been, it's, been, it's, been, it's been two months and you would have liked it to have been two days. But seriously, I think the club. I don't think it. I don't think it's. I don't think it's harmed the brand. I mean, you need you need renewal, refreshment, revigoration all the time, and it's not easy. But it, 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 change is happening by evolution, or sometimes it has to happen through 
you know, a, a more intervention. That's that's all that happened. I mean, as I say, the the individuals have have been involved, and that part I guess is unfortunate. But I would have thought the new baby's ready to go. So I, I think the childbirth's been worthwhile. Will you get to? Here we go, I'm going to use that analogy. Yeah, we get to decorate <laughs> the nursery. Will you, will, you, will you have a lot of say on where that funding goes for the department? Um. Well, from 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 a. Uh, well, not, not specifically, really. I mean, the, the point is, you've got to have faith in your people. My, my idea of... I, the one thing that when I, when I coached for the 20 years I coached, I used to say to the boards of the two clubs, Collingwood and the Lions, have faith in me. Let me do my job. If you lose faith in me, get rid of me. That's the way it works. So, in other words, we employ the people at board level, so you have faith in them to do what's in the best interest of the club. So the job is to support and advise and govern a little bit, and yeah, ultimately, you might, you, you might have to dismiss if that, if that happens. Uh, that's the role of the board, as I say. But it's, you've got to have faith in the people to do the jobs they were appointed to do. That's my attitude as a, as a, as a board person.